Hey guys, welcome to CR and Titano is Chetan here and in this tutorial we are going to do creative hard surface modeling. So now let's get started. To make this model, we need to add cylinder. So add a cylinder, make sure vertex should be 8 and change it to the triangle fan. Then delete its bottom words and then select this mid edge and then add a bevel on this center edge like this then you need to select these faces and then move them faces along the y-axis and select these faces and then move them along the y-axis and you will get this kind of shape then press i to insert like this and you can see this face will be the boolean part so select the outer edge and extrude it and scale it and just maintain the scale from all sides same equals portion of skill and then select these edges and you need to make them straight so that's why you can use the scale tool and scale it along the y-axis so you can make it straight now you need to select this edge and just move it along the y-axis then select these words and then move it along the x-axis and you can use the symmetry so just use the symmetry you can reduce your efforts okay now you can see we have got the good topology on it then just set the origin to the 3d cursor and now you need to add one more plane and with the help of this plane we will create triangle so that's why you need to add a plane and scale it and then you need to select the words and merge at the center so you will get a triangular shape then select this center face and then insert it and then add a loop cuts like this just we need to add a few loop cuts you can use the symmetry also to reduce your efforts and this is the creative process tutorial just try to improve your creativity Take a simple object and try to create something different from them. And then select this face and then you need to turn on the wireframe so you will get a good guide right there. And then move it and then rotate it this and this face will work as a boolean part on our mesh. So just uh, adjust its position. And then go to the edit mode, select these uh, faces and move them along the y-axis, local y-axis, you need to change the transform orientation right there. And then you can shift D to duplicate and then rotate it and this will, uh, this uh, faces will be fixed at the bottom. Okay, just move them and then delete these faces and then select these all faces and move them along the Z axis like this. Now select both part and then join them. If you adjust their scale, if you change its scale. <laughs> So if you it change its scales, it you will deform the proper shape of the mesh. So that's why you need to move the words later on. So just add a loop curves wherever it's necessary. So just add a loop curves like this. One loop cut here and another loop cut here. After that just select these edges and press F to fill the gap. And now you need to merge the words. So select these words and press M. Merge at center. 
select the words and press M and then you can use the any option any merging option which is there like this you can connect these words you can merge them together and then select this everything and smash and then symmetrize make sure you should apply your location and rotation before taking the symmetry that mistake I did here before then I realized I didn't apply the location and rotation so that's why you need to apply the lo ro location and rotation on your mesh then you will be able to get the proper symmetry for your mesh so that's why you need to press Ctrl A I guess or Shift A maybe. So just select these faces and then place them like this. And after that we will take the symmetry. So don't worry about the symmetry. Just add a loop cut. So make sure you place, uh, place the loop cut at the perfect center like this just adjust its scale and then you can select these faces and delete them and now you need to select these faces then you need to adjust the scale you can select same kind of faces same kind of portion from the uh, left and right side left side part so you can reduce your efforts also and you will get more symmetrical shapes here and then select these edges and press F select these edges and then press F okay so you can see we miss out here that we need to move it along the Z axis so just select these faces and then move them along the z-axis and then you will get the proper shape and now you need to merge the words so select these words and then merge them together and add a loop cuts wherever it's necessary so just add a loop cuts like this one loop cut will be here and then merge them together okay now you need to take the symmetry and here also the most important thing while applying the symmetry apply the location and the rotation so you can see my origin should be in the at the 3d cursor or at the center of the mesh and then you can get the right shape so control A I guess to apply the location and rotation and then you can uh, see the face normal those face normal should be also right then select these faces and then extrude them and move them along the z-axis like this and you can see we have easily created the boolean and this is the right process of creating boolean like this then you can add the subdivision surface modifier so just add the subd modifier and increase its level so you will get this kind of proper shape for your mesh then you need to add a loop cut support the loop cuts like this and we adjust the scale later on after creating the perfect mesh of that boolean so that's why we lose the proper shape right there so that's why we need to mo move the words so we can create a more curved shape at the end so you can see that's why i'm moving these words and here also you need to move the words or you can select the only one edge and then you can slide that edge you can use the edge slide or you can move that edge uh, also so select this edge and move it along the y axis and here i have used the 
normal transform orientation and now you can see we got a proper shape here and our mesh looks pretty well now just select the outer edge you can, if you want to create a more shape on it so just select this outer edge and then E to extrude and then move it along the Z axis I guess it's a Y axis because I have turned on this normal orientation normal transform orientation not the global and then select the inner edge also and then extrude it and move it along the Y axis and I'm not merging the bottom faces I'm not creating the mesh at the bottom you can create it definitely it is just for the tutorial purpose so that's why so I'm showing you this as much as fast and then add a loop cuts like this just to tie your mesh and now you can see we have created amazing hard surface model creative and this is the creative tutorial for the hard surface modeling in blender thanks for watching if you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe my youtube channel bye bye see you in the next video take care